Why do you pick the most random roads to go down? Well, because you usually take me to some beautiful places. Hi guys, I'm Sean. I'm a wandering vagabond. Today I'm in the middle of another dry lake bed. Uh, I'm right outside of Las Vegas. I'm on the east side of Vegas this time. Ugh. Uh. Well, considering my run in with the law this morning, not on a marked road, I decided to go somewhere else. I'm in Nelson, Nevada. This is an abandoned gold town. So much crazy around here. That thing I like though. Why do you pick the most random roads to go down? Well, because you usually take me to some beautiful places. Well, looking on a map, I thought that this place would be a nice where to like base myself and go back to Las Vegas. But that, it's all hills. It's one reason why I scope out new campsites during the daytime and not just show up at night. what it's like to drive down the woods in the middle of the night. Yeah, well, at the end of the road is a parking lot right along the Colorado River. There's signs up there that explicitly say no overnight camping. Wonder what overnight uh, photography is about. Go check out this sign. It's so rare for me to be in desert climate and have grass and green. Pretty cool. We can go lower. It's so cool. Let's go check out the water. I know we can walk down there. This rock, this wall. Let's check out this arch. That's neat. Over there, past those mountains, I came down, hit the highway, and now I'm on a dry lake bed. <laughs>
A few moments later. After the wind and the sandstorm this morning, I decided to be a little bit responsible. A little bit responsible. Like, that much. And, uh, I booked a hotel in Vegas. Let's go spend the night at the Excalibur Hotel, and, uh, let's go play on the Las Vegas Strip. Let's... Alright, let's do this. We'll kill ourselves. You know, there's one thing that I've learned by doing this for so long, and that's really taking a look at myself and what my needs are. I need to be around people. I hate people. <laughs> it's the truth. I, I, I'm a human animal. I crave social interaction. So once I get my fill, I need to leave. Sometimes it's confusing to me that I have to remove myself from society to be able to function in society. I don't know. Sometimes it makes me scared and worried, anxious. That's what it is to go back into society. Knowing that how much of a time limit do I have this time? before people become too much for me and I have to reevaluate and come back out into the middle of nowhere <laughs> with nobody yeah yeah realities all right well camping on this dry lake bed outside of Vegas has been pretty cool I mean it's really empty out here <laughs> the highway even though it's back there really don't hear it the cars don't bother you at all it's it's actually pretty pleasant except for you know that big bright thing up there uh, but it's time for me to move on uh, yeah.